Hi, I'm Susan Birkenseer and I'm with St. Mary's College of California in Moraga. I chose The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. This book, when I was a child, was very, very important to me. Um, it opened my eyes to the possibilities of things outside of my regular life and made me believe in wonder and beauty. So I'm going to read a little passage from that right now. Oh yes, tell us about Aslan, said several voices at once, for once again that strange feeling, like the first signs of spring, like good news had come over them. Who is Aslan, asked Susan. Aslan, said Mr. Beaver. Why, don't you know? He's the king. He's the lord of the whole wood, but not often here, you understand. Never in my time or my father's time, but the word has reached us that he has come back. He is in Narnia at this moment. He'll settle the White Queen all right. It is he, not you, that will save Mr. Tumnus. She won't turn him into stone too, said Edmund. Lord love you, son of Adam, what a simple thing to say, answered Mr. Beaver with a great laugh. Turn him into stone? If she can stand on her own two feet and look him in the face, it'll be the most she can do and more than I expect of her. No, no, he'll put all to rights, as it says in an old rhyme in these parts. Wrong will be right when Aslan comes in sight. At the sound of his roar, sorrows will be no more. When he bears his teeth, winter meets its death, and when he shakes his mane, we shall have spring again. You'll understand when you see him. But shall we see him, asked Susan? Why, daughter of Eve, that's what I brought you here for. I'm to lead you where you shall meet him, said Mr. Beaver. Is, is he a man, asked Lucy? Aslan, a man, said Mr. Beaver sternly, certainly not. I tell you, he is the king of the wood and the son of the great emperor beyond the sea. Don't you know who is the king of beasts? Aslan is a lion, the lion, the great lion. Oh, said Susan, I thought he was a man. Is he quite safe? I shall feel rather nervous about meeting a lion. That you will, dearie, and no mistake, said Mrs. Beaver. If there's anyone who can appear before Aslan without their knees knocking, they're either braver than most or else just silly. Then he isn't safe, asked Lucy. Safe, said Mr. Beaver. Don't you hear what Mrs. Beaver tells you? Who said anything about safe? Of course he isn't safe, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you. I'm longing to see him, said Peter, even if I do feel frightened when it comes to that point.